Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars and you're watching another one of my YouTube guitar building videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that by the end of this video, I'll have earned your subscription. What I'm going to talk about today is I'm going to answer a question that was posed by a viewer who asks if one truss rod is good, is two truss rods even better? And I'm sure you've seen many guitars that are equipped with two truss rods. And typically we're talking about bass guitars or guitars that have usually more than, than six strings. So that begs the question, if you're building a guitar that has more strings or a, a bass guitar, does it benefit you to equip that guitar with two truss rods instead of one? And the viewer wanted to know my thoughts on this. Well, my thoughts are you have to be careful with that idea that if one is good, then two must be better because in the case of truss rods, that's not necessarily the case. There is definitely a situation where you would want to include two truss rods, but adding uh, an extra truss rod will certainly increase the complexity of adjusting those truss rods correctly. It also adds significant amount of weight. And the only way you can avoid that is if you use titanium or carbon fiber truss rods. And those are not very common and they're rather expensive. So if you're using just a regular steel truss rod, uh, adding two of them is gonna add quite a bit of weight. But I generally feel that the only time it's useful to add two truss rods is if you're going to have eight or more strings on the instrument or if you're doing like a six string bass. Anything below seven strings on a regular guitar, you don't need to use two truss rods. But if you're going over eight strings, you're adding a significant amount of string pull tension to the neck, which can cause it to pull up on the headstock and bow the neck. And trying to control that amount of bow with a single truss rod can put a lot of stress on the truss rod. And over time, truss rods will wear out, the nuts can strip. So if you're trying to adjust out the bow on an eight string neck with just one truss rod, you're uh, considerably stressing that truss rod. And having two is going to reduce the amount of stress that the truss rod has to handle. But another concern that you have to factor in when using two truss rods is the complexity of, of adjustment. You're adjusting two truss rods to try and alleviate that bow and if you don't adjust them right, it can affect uh, potentially one side of the neck more so than the other. However, a lot of folks seem to think that having two uh, truss rods in the neck is gonna allow you to adjust one side of the neck differently than the other side. And in my experience, that isn't necessarily true. In truth, you would have to have those truss rods so far apart and a neck that is so wide that uh, you would affect one side of the neck rather and, and the other side differently. It, it just isn't realistic to think that having two truss rods side by side within a couple of inches of each other is going to be able to adjust one side as opposed to the other. I don't think that that's necessarily going to happen. Possibly in the extreme, if you're adjusting uh, one truss rod in one direction and then the other in the other direction um, to a high degree, that might affect, it might cause some twist in the neck. But I think the idea that you can adjust one side, like the base side, separately from the treble side is a fool's errand. I, I just don't see that as being possible. And um, one of the other things that you have to consider is if you've got two truss rods in the neck, both have to be under tension. If they're not, one of them is probably going to rattle and you're not going to know which one is rattling. So it just sort of adds uh, double the uh, complexity. 
And if you thought that uh, adjusting one truss rod was complicated, adjusting two is gonna be twice as complicated. So just consider those. But for a regular six string guitar, I, even if it's a baritone, you don't need to use two truss rods, just use one. So I hope you found this video to be somewhat thought-provoking and it might give you some food for thought when, when it comes to planning your next guitar build, uh, especially if it's gonna be like an eight string guitar or a six string bass or something like that. Um, two truss rods could be beneficial, but I think you'll find in most cases, it isn't really necessary. And um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that I've earned your subscription. And until the next episode, as always, take care, stay safe, and I hope you'll be back for future episodes of uh, guitar building excitement here on Highline Guitars.